continue north, then turn left. We are at the Big Sandy Trailhead. What was it? Big Sandy Hole? Big Sandy... Big Sandy Opening. The Big Sandy Opening. And uh, we have to figure out a way to get up to the Green Lakes Trailhead so we can do the high route back. Don't know how we're going to do that yet. Maybe we'll hitch there if that's possible, which will involve going through Pinedale. If not, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of people here. It's like there's something going on or something. Stage one of the hitch is complete. We just hitched to Boulder, not Colorado. Now we're gonna hitch to Pinedale, and then we're gonna try to get up to Green Lakes. Also, the hitch we just had ran off the road while we were in the back of the truck. And we, but uh, we lived, which is cool. So alive right now. We're very alive. Cheers. Which is nice. I'm more alive than I've ever been. <laughs> For the very first time. Sometimes you gotta hit the edge to feel alive. <laughs> Hitch number two was successful with a little taste of bear spray. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> safety fell off. And we got a little hint. Everyone started coughing, but nothing bad. So yeah, now we're in Pinedale. Next hitch is up to Green Lakes and then we'll be on trail. But first, we're gonna get some lunch. Nine hitches later, and we went from Big Sandy opening to Green Lakes Trailhead. I think our first big obstacle is going to be Knapsack Coal, which is going to be really hard. But we'll see. Kick a butts. Kick a butts. My knees are going to be sore. So it's hard time. You've probably seen them in some famous live streams that have happened on the internet. <laughs> Very famous live streams. <laughs> and some other vlogs that he does. <laughs> Hello. Just happens to be out here for the eclipse. You know, like, why, why wouldn't you be out here? It's right. pretty amazing. What can you yes. say? Say hi, say bye, because we're taking off. Hi, bye. I love you guys. I miss you. <laughs>
as I pass the Nantec Bowl camp. But that is true for most of this section. And when it's not a trail, it's really easy to tell where you're supposed to be going. Does that make sense? This is the Green River. Check out how green it is. There have been a ton of people on trail today, but I mean, that's what we expected. Should get better as we get higher up into the winds. It'll definitely get better as we get closer to Knapsack, which uh, is a little bit farther than we thought. It's 13 miles to the cutoff, and then it's a huge climb up to it. So definitely not gonna make it there today, but I don't care. Day number two, eclipse day. Bum, bum, bum. I think the eclipse is happening around 11-ish. I have no idea what time it is right now. Last night we camped just in some random grove of trees off trail. Today, it's about eight miles up to Knapsack, but it's gonna take a lot longer than it seems like it will. So, I'm not sure where we're going to be for the eclipse, but I don't think it really matters, as long as you have somewhat of a view. We're getting closer to Kubrock Pass on the way up to Knapsack, and the view is pretty epic, and the eclipse is starting. drop noticeably during totality. During the first and last few moments of totality, shadow bands ripple across white walls, white car exteriors, or large white paper sheets placed on the ground. The diamond ring effect occurs with the last flash of sunlight just before, or the first flash just after totality. Look at it. Don't. <laughs> oh, it's almost there. 
Whoa. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's so dark. Whoa. This is creepy. Oh my, oh my god, you can look at oh it. God. You can look at oh it. Oh my god. Whoa. Damn. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> look at it. It's oh nice. Oh my god. There's another one. There's a planet. This is so cool. <laughs> it is so dark. It's like night. Nice. There's Knapsack Cole. It is way more snowy here than it was when I was on the CDT. But it's created this really nice little ravine that we can walk up, which is actually easier than being on a rock trail. So I'll take it. I do have crampons, but I'm just too lazy to put them on. Or micro spikes anyways. getting there this is a steep climb I forgot how steep this is and as soon as you get where you think the top is it just keeps going but that's the top right up there and what a view this is knapsack coal uh, what you're just looking at was Titcomb Basin and then back behind me is where we came from. Yeah, it's uh it's pretty nice up here. Check out the glacier. This is a crazy steep climb down. Basically down Scree and Talus.
my new experimental dinner recipe. This morning we woke up in Titcomb Basin just after you descend from Knapsack Coal down past the glacier by the beautiful lakes. Well, we've come down Titcomb Basin and took a sharp left and we're heading up this way to Indian Pass. But yeah, it's been nice. Uh, as you saw in the video, everything kind of froze last night so my shoes were frozen solid this morning and my socks. But now it's sunny and feels good again. A lot of steep climbing. Now if Mia survives, we'll really have everyone. <laughs> This is Indian Pass.
Check out the giant glacier. It's pretty cool. So we're just crossing the glacier here, trying to get up to this pass over here. And it's looking like we're gonna have to descend and then go back up. Not exactly sure how we get up yet, but that's the fun of it. This is Alpine Lakes Pass. Alpine Pass. Alpine yeah, Pass. Alpine Lakes Pass. <laughs> Alpine Pass. Alpine Lakes Pass. No, it's Alpine Pass. It's a pass. It's Miha Pax. <laughs> Let's see if I can manage to do this gracefully this time. Yeah. <laughs> We are scrambling around the river, the lake, the water. Do that. <laughs> I'm not going back. No, I know. <laughs> but like, CDT would be, if we have to bail out. Yeah. CDT goes to Big Sandy. That's some beautiful glacier guys. We have successfully skirted the cliffs. You see the pass we came down from? Now we're traversing the lake. I think we don't go this way, we have to go see. Yeah. We go to the right of the lake. Yeah, left yeah this looks, looks right. A little sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> that is a steep snow field. Hey everybody, I just want to say thanks so much for watching this video, I really do appreciate it. I love getting out there in the backcountry and coming back and editing these videos together, and you guys make that possible, so thank you. I also owe a huge, huge thanks to all the patrons out there on Patreon that are supporting me. You guys make these longer, more complex edits <laughs> possible, it's pretty much the only thing that makes them possible. And I really appreciate that because I'm really enjoying trying to push the boundaries on editing and improving everything I do. Hopefully that's showing up somewhat. If you haven't checked out my Patreon page, I'll make it quick, but I would really appreciate it if you did. The support there is what makes these videos possible. And it also gives you access to exclusive content. Actually, last time, after the Never Summer video, I put out a Patreon-exclusive video of just some bloopers and outtakes from the Never Summer trip, and I'm going to do the same for the Wind River trip. 
And just in case you didn't notice, this is part one of what's going to be two parts from the Wind River High Route trip. And the next part should be coming out soon, so stay tuned. See you guys next time.